Well, we were about to start a new project today because I got to build something to put on the Silverado. Last night, I was going through Facebook and I seen some pictures of something that I just had to have. Oh, and if you're wondering why we're not fishing, well, we have been fishing almost every day, but the crap you're not in, I'm not catching anything, so there ain't nothing to show you. I could show you can be catching nothing, but I wouldn't watch that either. But last night, here's what I found. I found a saw blade. This is a 10 inch saw blade. It says it has 36 teeth on it for wood. Or is it? We're about to make something that's going to be a wall hanger. That's it. It's just a wall hanger. It's not going to be for violence. Per se. It's going to be a wall hanger. Did I say it's going to be a wall hanger? Because it's going to be a wall hanger. I don't think I need to. Well, yeah, maybe I do. I think I need to stress that a lot. It is a wall hanger. Let's get to it. Obviously, I got a couple of marks for some holes. This could be a back end. This could be a front end. Uh, yeah. We're making a medieval axe. This thing is going to look nasty. First thing we got to do, though, is get this cut out. Get the holes drilled. And we'll see what we're working with. We got our basic shape cut out here. We're gonna switch over to the flap of this. We're gonna clean up the edges and kind of clean up the surface a little bit. And we're gonna take it over to the drum sander and kind of get this this arc uh, looking a little better than what it is. got our basic shape done here we're gonna move it over to the sander and we're gonna see if we can make this nice and pretty Axel playing with the dog next door. Hey, come on, you. Let's go. What are we going to do with that guy, D? Yeah. Hello, buddy. You good boy. Hey, you good boy. You don't give me no problems. You don't give me no problems. Get up. Start with a pilot hole. Found a couple of bolts that I think are going to work. They're a little long, but we'll cut them off once we get them in there. Let's get our holes drilled. that blade's going to take off on me once I get through the other side so safety first I 
side of some hard steel. Almost. Well, that struggle was real. Just to get those two holes. This is obviously hardened steel. Uh, four drill bits and about 30 minutes later we, we're through. I knew it was going to be hard. I just didn't know it was going to be that hard. I think we need to move on to the handle. Well, somebody's whistle went off and got, you guys know whistle means break time. Here's where we are at. So we've got our slot cut in here. That was a little tricky. We've got our markings on here where this is going to go. One hand this. Now, we're going to put this on here and drill our holes. These two lines are going to keep us even over here. This line right here is how far down it's going to go. And I must say, look at that sunshine. It is almost 20 degrees out there right now with a slight breeze. I might sneak away this afternoon after this is done and go fishing, see if the fish are biting. Because every day I go down there and try and see if the crap you're in to try and get you guys a good quality fishing video. And they're not biting. Now, if you're not from Ontario, bass season is not in here in Ontario. I mean, if they bite, they bite. You got to put them back. And nevertheless, we don't target bass until I think it's the third week of June is when bass season opens here. But in the spring, the creeks are loaded, the ditches are loaded because they're all up in there spawning. And you don't want to catch them when they're spawning. Some places do. Uh, I try not to. I just try to leave them alone and let them do their thing. But the crappie, I am all over that. We might have to take a road trip to Shrewsbury. Listen to me rabbling on here. Rabbling. Is rabbling a word? Rabbling on here instead of finishing the project. We might have to take a trip to Shrewsbury. That is the place to get you crappy. Anyway, back to the project. Enough running my mouth. Let's get this thing set where I think it needs to be. Put our marks in. Drill the holes. Hopefully it's right. We're through. Those holes are not in line. Oh well. It'll work or it won't. So the bolts I got are a little bit short. Story of my life. So I took a larger wood bit. I'm going to countersink these uh, nuts in here for now. If it works for now, great. Until I can get some bigger bolts. But, uh, let's get this done and see what happens here. Here's where we are at so far. Check that out. Medieval, ugly looking thing, is it not? Alright, what are we going to do now? One thing you will see, and I don't really care, these somehow got offset. I then had to countersink the nuts. Don't. So that the bolts would reach all the way through because the bolts weren't long enough. Oh, they're not at work. What we're going to do now is we are going to fix the top of this. We're going to take the finish off of this. And we're going to take the tape off. Uh, that's going to require sanding. My least favorite thing. So I'll get back to you. Progress report. Alright, we got the first sanding on the handle. I'm either going to take this apart. Get all this sanded down. I have another small sander I can probably get that with. But I also want to address this here. And we're going to polish up the blade a little bit. What do you think? 
Not bad. Don't uh, think I'd want to get hit with that. It's going to be an awesome wall hanger. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it, but it's going to be an awesome wall hanger. all the scuff up in here so I'm trying to get this all to look just like this part right here <clears throat> a little more fine sanding to go on in here but other than that that's the look I'm looking for I'll get this here taken care of oh, you can't see that I'll get this here all taken care of right now and then uh, we'll figure out the finish you gotta stop with these coffee breaks I'm not getting a darn thing done uh, we got our uh, trim clad flat black again what we're going to do is, I'm just going to pretty up her teeth to, over here. We're just going to pretty up her teeth a little bit. Oh, isn't that pretty? Don't forget the back side too, fellas. We don't want to drip. Don't want it to drip. But it might drip. That's okay. that dry up for a bit and then we're gonna get this hickory handle done up nice I think I'm gonna burn it as usual yeah paint drying is kind of overrated there you go look at that nice nice on the back this side same thing we will let that dry up just another couple of minutes and then we are gonna figure out what to do with this handle it is a nice hickory handle and uh, I'm not sure if I want to burn it, stain it, or oil it, or just oil it. Maybe I will just do a test spot with some oil. And what oil do I use, may you ask? Well, if this is your first time here, it's 0W20, full synthetic. Use what you got. Let's see. That's clean. Hey, dirty oil. For some reason, I grabbed the wrong jug. You only need a little bit. We're just doing a test spot. You got to pour it all down the front of everything here. Don't take my advice, people. Yeah. You know, I would like it a little darker than that, I think. Get up the torch. I just think the darker the better. A little more fire to this then I'll get back to you all right here is where we are at see if this oil is going to make any bit of difference on here I'm trying to do it all, get it done, and this is not quite dry yet. I know I'm going to mess that up. I'm really happy with how that turned out. I'm going to leave it finished like this because I want it to rust up a little bit. And uh, yeah, the old uh, Zero W20 did it again. 
Maybe we're going to have to put it up here on the wall somewhere. Now, all you do-getters out there say, what in the world do you need that for? Well, I don't. It's a wall hanger. Unless you're trying to break into my house and I happen to be in the shop. Then it's still going to be a wall hanger. We have other remedies for those situations. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, it wasn't the project of the day. It was not. There was something else going on today, but I saw that and had to do it. But we're going to get this up on the shop. I almost hit myself in the head with that. That would, not, that would almost be pretty funny, wouldn't it? Get out of the shop, make some noise. I'll see you all in the next one. Later.